Greetings, Raji Nareitzing here, transgender activist, author, and actress, currently on the reality show Botched on the E! Network. So family matters. I really do believe that family does matter. Whether it is your blood family that you have in your corner, loving and supporting you, or it's a family that you created for yourself out of really, really, really good friends that have become like family, family does matter. And for me, I have those wonderful friends that have really become like family and have been in my corner loving and supporting me. But I also have the love and support of my blood family. Well, not all of them. Because of my transgenderism, uh, there are family members that do not agree with my life and don't support me. But there are so many family members that do love and support me and that I know are in my corner. And I feel so grateful. I feel so grateful for the blood family in my corner and the friends, the wonderful friends that have truly become family for me. Recently, I started thinking about the relationship that my mom and I have and the journey that we've shared. And, you know, there was definitely a time where my transgenderism was like the pink elephant in the room. Uh, mom definitely didn't understand it. And I really do believe that there was a time where she didn't know whether she could accept it or not. But even through that time, I never felt like I did not have my mom in my corner. I never felt like my mom didn't have my back because the love, her love for me was so constant. It was there, even in the time that she didn't understand my transgenderism. You know, um, when I think of my mom, I really do think of like the epitome of mother's love because just all of the sacrifices she made for my sister and I growing up and all of the things that she went through. I mean, I definitely do. And getting up at five in the morning to make sure that we had a hot breakfast every single morning. I mean, my mom was like, you know, that type of mom that definitely pampered you and, and all of that good stuff. And so I, you know, I think about her being the epitome of mother. But there are some issues that I do have with my mom. I mean, I issues from growing up, and um, there are things that I don't particularly agree with uh, the way my mom handled. Uh, but overall, I mean, through the uh, good, bad, and ugly, mom's love has been unwavering. Now, you know, my mom is definitely not the limelight type of person. She's very social, very friendly. She loves people. She's very outgoing. But when I say the limelight type of person, I'm meaning like she's definitely not like that reality show, lights, camera, action type of person. Now, anyone that knows me <laughs> knows that I certainly am. But I bring all of that up to say that when I got contacted to do season three of Botch, the producers uh, told me that they wanted me on next season and they were going to actually have surgery done uh, this time uh, where I would have probably uh, one, maybe two surgeries. And they wanted to know if my mom would be willing to come out to be there for support, and also to film with me because they wanted to show that I do have the love and support of family. I do have a mother that loves and supports me very much. So when I called my mom to tell her about it, I told her first off, I said, listen, mom, no pressure, no pressure. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, if you don't feel comfortable going out there and filming, and believe me, I told her a lot of people will see this. I understand. I understand. I don't want you to feel like, you know, you're, you're, you're being pressured into this. Not one time did I not know that my mom was not on board. 
she, from the very get-go, I knew my mom was on board with me and that she was coming. She was coming out to California. Now, let me tell you, I had four surgeries, three in six weeks, and then I came back to South Florida, and then I, uh, a week later, I flew out again for a fourth surgery. So it was, in total, about seven weeks of surgery. But my mom was out in California with me for six weeks for the three surgeries. And when I tell you the wonderful support that she was for me, I mean, just really, really a great support. And I'm so happy that she was able to uh, come out and be there that long with me. I kept telling her, listen, Mom, if you have to go home, I understand. And it was like, there was absolutely no, I'm staying here until you're done. I was like, oh, my goodness, this is just, it, it's wonderful. Really, really feeling blessed, you know. And um, that is just a recent example of the expressions of love that my mom have shown me has shown me throughout my life. I mean, that's just a recent, one recent example. And I'm sharing this with you all because I know that every single person on the planet needs someone that they look to for unwavering love. That's what my mom's love has been. It's been unwavering. I don't care if you say you don't need anyone, you're lying to yourself. Doesn't matter. You can be self-sufficient, totally self-sufficient. Have the education, have the social status, have the money. There will come a time in your journey when none of that matters. All that matters is that you have that person in your corner showing you unwavering love. <laughs> I am truly, truly blessed. And I, you know... I could sit and think about all the bad things that have happened to me in my life. But then I could sit here and think about all of the wonderful blessings that I've had in my life. The people, family and friends that have loved and support me. All of the blessings, the opportunities that I've had. And, you know, I'm just sit here in front of you in, in, in true, pure gratitude. <laughs> I want to also give a shout out to my wonderful fans slash supporters all around the world. I love you too. <sighs> well, Mom, thank you from the bottom of my soul for being a good mom to me. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs>